back to my channel. Today is vlog number three and I'm starting off this vlog by chatting to you. I'm kind of, you know, if you've been watching my last couple of videos, I've kind of done a vlog and then I've gone on to do a little bit of chat at the end. But today I'm going to start with the chat and then I'm going to go into the vlog afterwards. Purely because it's just what's happening. And the chronological order of my week has been that I haven't vlogged at all this week and it's now Saturday. And I have one day left of this week and I've not vlogged, which is terrible. So today's video, I wanted it to be focused around positivity, turning negative thoughts to positive thoughts, not getting caught up with negative, there's somebody outside, not getting caught up with negativity, all that jazz. So I was just writing down some of my notes. Essentially, I want you guys, as I've already mentioned, to get something out of all these videos. I don't want you to just watch a vlog and be like, cool, that's what you did with your day. So. Turning negativity to positivity is what I'm going to focus on today. Tomorrow I am going to Brighton, so I'm going to film my Brighton trip, which will hopefully be really fun, and I'll try and just make like, you know, a day vlog out of it, and that will be this week's video. I'm just going to talk to you guys for like five minutes about negativity, basically, because I'm somebody, my boyfriend will agree with me when I say this, I get very worked up over things which don't really mean much. I think about people's opinions a lot on me and think that they don't like me. I think that things are going to go wrong. I overthink things even when something isn't going wrong. I'm really, really bad for um, immediately jumping to the negative side. I'm quite a positive person in terms of like my aspirations. So I really want to do stuff. I want, always want to get involved. I always want to be busy. So I'm positive in that sense. But when it comes to like socially, I can look on the negative side very, very easily. So I wanted to talk about positivity and negativity overall because this is going to help me as much as it will hopefully help you. So first of all, I just want to discuss about like hearing yes and hearing no. The one thing which easily people think is that yes, is a positive and no is a negative which is completely wrong and it's basically stage one of where you're messing up and that's the first thing which I want to discuss because yes and no does not define positive and negative. Seeing no as a bad thing is probably the worst thing you could ever think of. We need no's in our life to be able to grow stronger, learn from things, we need people to tell us how to improve. We need somebody to basically not give us what we want. So don't see no as a negative, just see no as like a challenge and a learning opportunity and also potentially something better could come from that no. So stage one, tip one, is remove that association, yes and no, positive, negative. Just, they are totally different things. No's can be good things as well. So that's the, I don't know if that made sense, but that's basically what I wanted to say. First of all, tip number two, these tips are like all muddled up. I probably should have put these in like some sort of order that made sense. But tip number two is make time for positivity. It can be really easy, especially because we're so busy these days with school or work, uni, whatever, is to just get really overwhelmed and just keep going from one thing to the next and never take time out our day to just give ourselves some positivity and some time for enjoyment. So making time for positivity will help you kind of neutralize yourself and bring yourself back down to earth, kind of regain your thoughts and not get too kind of caught up in, you know, getting stressed, thinking that everything's going wrong or thinking that everything's just too much for you. Just take some time out, whether that's with your pet because you love spending time with them, that could be doing a sport, that could be going to the gym, could be socializing with friends. Just take some time out of your day, which you know is gonna be positive and it helps you really kind of like just not get caught up with negative feelings because at the end of the day, negativity is a feeling, it's not a thing. Like it's not something that is factual. Negativity is just something that builds inside you. So giving yourself something to feel positivity from will let you kind of just, just, just neutralize yourself basically. I don't know if that makes sense. Tip number three is the negative things that happen in your life, which you perceive as negative, see them as learning opportunities because essentially if this thing happens again you don't you want to know how to deal with it and you don't want to be in the same situation feeling crappy again so if something negative happens like you lose your phone take it as a learning curve what were you doing to lose your phone what did you do after losing your phone that either could be improved that you did well that you know next time if you lose your phone or if your friend loses your phone you can make the situation better, you can make it less stressful. Learning from negative experiences is the only way that you're gonna make things better in the future for yourself. So just don't get overwhelmed by the fact that you've been through this whole tragedy 
and that nothing good's happened because at the end of the day you've learned something. Whether it's caring, whether it's respect and support from your friends, whether it's overall responsibility, you've learned something. So that in itself is a positive that's come out of the situation. Tip number four is do not blame things on others. This isn't really a nice thing to hear because it can be potentially very harsh. Negativity is a feeling. If you feel negative, it's really... What is that? At the end of the day, if you feel negative, it's your fault. That sounds really, really harsh. But at the end of the day, the negative action, like maybe your car got stolen, yes, okay, that's bad. But you inside feeling negative, it's you. A lot of the time we can blame and kind of create negativity from people. So you can say like, oh, because of her, this happened. Or like, oh, if she hadn't got that job, if she didn't know, you know, that person in the office, she would never have got that promotion, do you know what I mean? And, like, blaming people just is a huge negative spiral that is never going to make you a better person and it's something that we can hold on to for way too long. It's just really, really toxic blaming it on other people. Just take it upon yourself. Don't blame yourself and, you know, like, oh, it's all my fault, I'm so stupid, I'm blah, blah, blah. Don't do that, but just take responsibility and realize that it's how you react to the situation that is going to improve the situation. Blaming somebody else is not gonna do anything. So yeah, essentially, even if it wasn't your fault, because you know, your car getting stolen, it's not your fault, but you are responsible for how you react to that. So focus on how you're gonna react, but just don't let it get the better of you and let it overtake your whole thoughts and feelings because negativity, as I said, is a feeling. It's not a factual thing. It's how you deal with the situation that will change that, like negativity. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. So it's now Saturday evening. As I said, I've only started vlogging on Saturday, which is so stupid. But tomorrow I'm going to Brighton and I'm going to vlog that. Hopefully that'll be really, really fun. I hope that you enjoy the rest of the vlog and I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Sunday and we are in Brighton now. We're in this little cute street which I don't know you can see because it's really sunny. Yeah, we've been going into all the shops. Johnny's got a cheese grater, all the things to buy when you're shopping in boutique shops, but you know. And I got like a bat and ball from the beach, so we can occupy ourselves. <laughs> the things you buy in Brighton. Bat ball. We just went and got a pasty and I spotted this cake, but it was Biscoff flavoured cake. If that isn't heaven, I don't know what is. Of course we come in here. My other intern, it's her favourite shop ever. It's like a tea shop, but it's cool. Is that nice? Do I like it? No? Okay, I'm not going to try it then. This is a really small sausage roll. Thank you. Yeah. Usually the worst part is I love this one. What's this one here? This is a beef cream for lemonade. Ooh. Oh, I like that one. It's, they've just got a funny aftertaste. Go on the camera. Where does it take me to? Facebook. Catch the flag!
Oh my god. Oh my god. We're at Brown Pier right now. We managed to get ourselves some free monster. I'll show you. Wait, where the hell is it gone? There was like a truck filled up with monsters. So I got the green one, which I've not tried yet, but it's probably gonna be way too sweet. Anyway, we're at Brighton Pier right now. Wondering about some people are getting ice cream. And it's bloody hot as well. We've come to the arcade, excuse the fact that I look like a slight hot mess, because I am a slight hot mess. We've come to the arcade, me and Jason are both put in Pepe's and we're see what we can get out of it. We don't have the best luck at all, so we're probably gonna get absolutely zero. Oh my god, no! Uh. no. on the beach for dinner which was really really nice. Currently having an ice cream which is melted because I was trying to get my camera and my bag it took me too long. But it's really good. We're just walking along the pier, not the pier, I don't know what it is, promenade. The beach side on our way home right now to grab, we're gonna grab the train home. So yeah. Hey everyone, I am back from Brighton. It's actually the following day right now. It is Monday. I've just got back from work and I thought I'd finish this vlog up because I've got to start another one now. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and there will obviously be one next week for you guys on another kind of topic or theme. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment if you want and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!